Hello everyone! So we have less than 24 hours here in the beautiful city of Nha Trang, so come along with us! Time for some coffee. Okay, we have finally checked out of our hotel. We've been there pretty much all morning, but now we are going to find some lunch and explore Nha Trang a little bit. Honestly, can't say enough good things about that accommodation. They're it awesome. was $16. We got it at a very good discount because we booked so late, but seriously, they're letting us store our bags there because we have an overnight bus tonight For and we free. didn't for free, storing our bags there. They upgraded us because they had space for a better room. And they said that we, if we wanted, they can give us a room to shower in when we get back before our bus today. So they're just, they're awesome. Unreal. We've come down to the beach area. Uh, it's really nice down here. It's very developed, which is awesome. Big sidewalks, big park areas. I actually came for a run here this morning along the, the water and along like the beach area. And it was absolutely wonderful. That's the night market we made our way to last night. Looks so different in the daytime. So we've made our way into the main mall here at the center area, center square, I forget what it's called. Mainly we're here to find a washroom, but we might, you know, have a look around for a little bit. I'll leave her alone for one second. All of a sudden she's halfway up the escalator without me. What a jerk. There's a little kiosk in the mall that's for Vietjet, the budget airline of Vietnam, or one of the budget airlines in Vietnam. And you can like check in and like book a flight and everything all from the mall. It's so strange. Look where we are. You can always count on the mall to have a free bathroom. So mission successful. I think the game plan is to kind of walk along the coast. There's a temple that we're eventually trying to get to. I think it's about a 45 minute walk away. So I think we're just gonna kind of explore the coastline of Nha Trang until we get there. We're gonna have to cross at some point. I really don't feel like getting hit by a car, so. Really? Yeah. Okay, so something that Robin and I both, I think, are enjoying about the landscape here is that the, like, the rolling hills that we saw really a lot in Dalat are like really like close to the coast. So as soon as you get off the beach, it's like sky rise hotels, but then it's mountainous behind them and like along that side and like back in behind me here. So it just kind of all like ties in really nicely. So it's very pretty. Just about at the bridge over the river that takes us to the temple the whole coastline here is i would say it's very manicured like all the trees yeah. are cut so pristine <laughs> it's really clean there's volleyball courts there's lots of like benches it's obviously we're not in the tourist season right now so it's pretty empty yeah but it's just it's very like resort feeling is kind of the vibe that i get for just sure very vacation yeah, I said, I literally just said to Robin, it feels like a combo of three things. The resorts of Mexico, the grooming and architecture kind of Singapore, and uh, like the overall just kind of vibe of Fan Thiet is kind of what I get. If you were wanting a hot holiday vacation, this is a beautiful setup. Highly recommend. I would say it's, at least from what we've seen so far, not really a backpacker feel. And there's not bad, it's not a bad place. It's not just at all. Maybe not quite our style. Yeah. That's all right.
Okay, so we've crossed over the bridge to the other side of Natrang here. This completely feels like a new side and different space, like different city overall completely. Yeah, it's way more local. There's yeah. no like huge big fancy hotels and like fancy restaurants and shopping malls. It's all like local street food. There's little shops, tons mm. of locals just out and about. Less, yeah. way less tourists. It's really yeah. cool to see. And we're almost at the temple. Which is really nice because we've been walking for Forever. a very long time. We have made it to the Ponagar Temple here in uh, Natrang. Got our entrance fees. It was $30 or 30,000 dong a person. So 60,000 in total. So it was about three-ish dollars. So pretty good. I think it's gonna be really beautiful in there. We both kind of didn't really think fully through this and Robin's wearing a tank top. I'm got my shorts and sandals on and some reviews online say like make sure you're dressed appropriately and covering the full body and all that. So kind of hoping that this goes smoothly. I think they might give us a sarong or something like that to put over Robin's shoulders or my legs. Um, but we're gonna check it out. It looks really beautiful from the outside. So we're gonna see what it's like in the inside. So behind the temple, there's this cute little like garden oasis almost. There's tons of little sitting area. It's super green, super lush, very humid. <laughs> but it is just really nice and peaceful and tranquil. Even though there's lots of tourists here, it's really quiet and kind of everyone's being respectful, which I really love. So I think something that Graham and I have been trying to do more often is when we get to a place like this to really appreciate like the history and kind of its background, mm -hmm. we like to just sit and kind of take it all in. It's absolutely stunning here. They've, yeah. they've made a super tranquil area. There's still people who use these towers for um, worship and prayers. So we see a couple, a handful of them going and doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's just really cool to see. I think it's way more than just an attraction you come look at and leave. I think you can come here and, and spend some time and truly get to know and understand uh, a different culture. So yeah, I think it's I think it's a very cool place to be. But I think we are going to get a grab and head to our next place because it's a little bit farther of a walk and we're kind of walked out right now. <laughs> That was quick. Eight minute scooter or 50 minute walk? Honestly, even easier choice because the scooter was $1. So our next stop on our quick Natrang tour is the Long Sun Pagoda, which is known for having an 80 foot statue of Buddha, which is so cool. And you can see it from here. There's so much incense being burned right now. It smells so, so good. Okay, there is a bit of a hike to get to the very top where the Buddha statue is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's about 100 stairs, so I guess the hike starts now. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh. 100. Nah, just kidding. Okay, we only just started our hike up the stairs. I think we're maybe like 25 steps in or so. And right at the top of the first staircase, there's this little side where you could go. So we took it and there's a massive uh, laying down Buddha statue here. Yeah. So Did this not isn't, know that this was here. No, this isn't the one that we were trying to get to, um, obviously because our hike just started. But this is a cool little, I guess, intro to what we're going to see. Yeah. This is very impressive. 
I I always wonder how like things of this size one come to be and two like how it actually gets there like did they just make it on the spot I think I probably need to do a little bit more research there but I don't know it's just so impressive and it's huge I remember seeing it on our way drive in in our grab after the bus and it was like you could see it so clearly from there and just be this close to it, it's even more impressive so very cool well, that was really cool. Honestly, I get so impressed when statues are like on a massive scale. It just, yeah. it's really cool to like stand beside because they look even more massive. Obviously when you're right beside them than if you see them from like when we were in our car driving yeah. um, to our accommodation here in the first place. It's just so impressive and yeah. it's free to get in. Yeah, honestly, if you are anywhere near this area, definitely make a stop to see this. But I think we are going to start our trek down and maybe get some food because I'm very hungry. Sixty. 160 steps. That's it. Now you know. <laughs> that was an incredible experience, but now we are going to book some grab bikes, grab bikes back to our hotel. They had said we could have a room to shower in and kind of just like chill out for a little bit. So that was awesome. So we're going to head back, have a shower, regroup a little bit, and then we'll get some supper. Okay, Robin and I had a quick shower, hung out at our in the lobby, I guess, of our place for a little while. Honestly, that shower, I think, is going to absolutely power us through for this bus ride. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy that we were able to do that. But now we are going to go and get some supper at the same place we were at last night because it was so good. We figured we'd go back. It's just too good to pass up. I even got the exact same thing I ordered last night. I got the rice vermicelli with grilled pork. So, unlike Graham, I decided to try something new at Ooh. this place. <laughs> so I got the pho, stir-fried pho, with beef and vegetables. So it smells unreal, and it literally took like maybe two minutes to come out. It was so fast. We have finished up supper. Overall, we've really enjoyed being in Nutrang. Um, I think it's very much a vacationer spot rather than a backpacker spot. Just like based on like what's around and things to do and stuff like that and places to stay in as well. Like we got very lucky with our accommodation being so cheap, um, but there's a lot of high rise hotels along the, the waterfront, especially. But that is going to bring us to the end of this video because we have got an overnight bus coming up to Hoi An. We'll see how it goes. There is some currently some flooding in Hoi An. So Hopefully all goes, uh, goes to plan. Other than that, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. No, I wasn't ready. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Gotta do Hello, everyone. I was talking. Hello, everyone. So we already have the, start again. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> one more time.